everybody welcome back to my channel i am super excited about today's video because we get to do some art and just be creative um <clears throat> if i i mentioned in my last video my previous video which is my first video um then my sister had asked me to do my nephew's first birthday decorations and so the theme is the very hungry caterpillar and so she wanted me to do a booth a photo booth who likes to take pictures um everybody does so um i think it's going to be an exciting and creative and so i'm going to be drawing a caterpillar the caterpillar and um and i want you guys to join me so let's without further ado let's go ahead and get started so um, I've already drew the um, caterpillar. I went ahead and I did the outline first, okay? Just so I can have guidance in drawing the caterpillar. And so I've already traced it in black marker and um, I've already done the antennas, the little hairs that it has on the top. And right, so um, I've already drawn the little circle. This is where I'm gonna be cutting off. And then I drew the X because I'm gonna take this out with the exacto knife okay so now before i even do that i'm going to go ahead and get the painting started and so um after i do the painting i, I will go in with the elmer's glue and go on the black line so it can have a little bit of a um, texture on there as well so let's go ahead and get the painting started I do have my painting over here um, I will be using the colors green yellow and red and then I'll you go ahead and use some black you guys can tell I did not draw any um, legs on it because I'm thinking about putting some grass on this so um, that's one of the reasons why you don't see any um, legs Okay, so now I've mixed in my colors. I added some yellow, some green, mixed it in together with some white. I have my red paint, I have my green paint, and I have some blue, some uh, mixed it in with a little bit of green and some white to get that color. And then, then I do have some black there. So let's go ahead and get started on painting. Okay, so I'm going to use this sponge. It's a makeup sponge, but um, it's actually pretty good when you're um, dabbing away. Gives it a nice effect. So I'm using the sponge, and again, I'm going to go ahead and get some of this blue, get some of the green, and dab away. Okay, and that's how it's turning out. So again, I get some of the blue, the green, and star dabbing. I want to add some of the more blue. Just go ahead and add more blue in there. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of more green in there. You can go ahead and do that. Okay, and that's how it's turning out. So I'm going to move ahead and do the other part, adding a little bit of more yellow in there. Get to the yellow. Now using a makeup sponge, it's pretty, it does a pretty good job. just yet. Um, I want to get the colors in first and add in the black after. This is how it's looking. Okay, and now I'm just going to go ahead and add some yellow, just yellow. Combine some blue with some green and white. Add some green. Okay, so this is how it looks. And all I use was this sponge. Okay. Now, um, this part here is going to be red, and then again, I'm going to remove that section here, okay? Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to take my sponge and get a little bit of the black. I'm not going to get too much of it, but I'm just kind of go ahead and just kind of dab it in here, just kind of creating some effect. Bottom. I'm going to grab a lot, it's just a little tiny dab there, that's good enough. 
it's fine. And then take it here, do it there, like that. So this is how it's looking. A little bit, and get some over here on this side, so do it here. And then, um, just maybe a little bit over here on this side, you know? A little bit of the green, a little bit of the yellow. So there you have your caterpillar. And then I'm gonna go ahead and trace the outer part with some yellow, but like I said, I wanted to use the Elmer glue first to outline the black. Um, and that'll create some texture um, when you use Elmer glue. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I've already started putting the glue on the black line. So um, once this dries up, I'm gonna go ahead and paint over it and paint it green. So again, that gives it a really nice texture. Um, so you'll see at the end what I am talking about. So let's go ahead and just keep doing this. So I went ahead and did the whole thing you guys can see so let me stand up so I can show you guys the how it looks hey guys so I went ahead and removed the headpiece um, so we're gonna go ahead and finish up the um, glued area which I did yesterday with the Elmer's glue so I'm we're gonna go ahead and do that finish that up and I did leave it overnight um, to um, dry so let's go ahead and get started so um, I decided that on the top part here on the top section um, I'm gonna go ahead and do some dots so I'm gonna be using some light green, some yellow, dark green, blue, some purple, some red, and some brown. Okay, and then again, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same sponge I used yesterday um, to paint the caterpillar. I'm gonna start with some of the green and just do dots. And it doesn't matter if they mix in together. Um, so I just finished the dots, so I'm just going to go ahead and do the green on the glue that I let dry overnight. And I'm using green, and then for this part here, for the inside part, and then yellow on the outer black lines. Alright, so now that I'm done painting the inner part of the caterpillar, I'll go ahead and move on to painting the yellow um, outer part of the caterpillar. Okay, so there you have it. So um, now that I'm done painting the outer part and then the green lines in the middle inside the caterpillar, then I am going to move on to painting the antennas. And um, the antennas, and as I remember, are kind of like a purplish, bluish, um, brownish, color so um, I'll go ahead and do the antennas and um, after I'm done with the antennas and we'll move on to putting the grass and um, and then I have decided to do um, more than just a caterpillar so I want to do a maybe a watermelon on this side um, maybe a cupcake on this side and then maybe have a lollipop candy that the caterpillar also eats so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and incorporate those things so those are the, some of the things that the caterpillar eats um, in the very hungry caterpillar book so for the antenna I'm going to use some purple that I already had um, and I did include some white on there onto the blue so the blue wouldn't be too harsh and then I am going to use some of this green as well I am using the brush So now that my antennas are done, I'm going to move on to doing the grass. I'm going to use construction paper and then curl the top parts and then tape it on here. Um, so meanwhile, let the paint dry, then I'm going to be working on the grass. And um, I've already measured and I know where I'm going to cut. Um, so I'm going to cut this way. 
So I'm going to put the grass like this. Cut. Great. So now that I've cut that part, um, I am going to cut this way. Cut down little strips. I'm not going to cut down all the way. After I cut the little strips, I went ahead and I curled them with a pencil and so this is what I get. Now I've already made, I've already made three sections. This one goes here and this one goes here. Okay, so that's going to be my grass. And so I will go ahead and glue this onto the board. So now that I've already taped the grass on here, um, I'm going to be moving on to making the watermelon, the cupcake, and the lollipop. And then after that, we're all done. Okay, so now that I've drawn the cupcake, the candy, and the, um, and the watermelon, um, I am going to go ahead and cut these out. So I've already done that, so I'm just going to pop them out. It's my watermelon. This is my... Okay, so that's my lollipop. And my cupcake. So there you go. So now that these are um, cut, um, I will be using some, I'm going to paint this one, but I will be using some construction paper for the watermelon and the cupcake. Okay, so I've already put tape on the back of my cupcake. Now I'm going to place it over there on the far corner. So let me... And then I'm going to take my watermelon, tape it there. And the last is the lollipop. And so I'm going to place the lollipop over here. So this is it, you guys. So this is how it turned out. Okay. Thanks for watching this video. I've really enjoyed doing this for my nephew. If you watched my previous video, um, you know that my nephew is turning one. So my sister had asked me to do a photo op and so here it is. And it's based on the Very Hungry Caterpillar. Um, and so thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, and don't forget to click on that notification button. And I will see you next time.